Luke Chisnell. A story in the making, whichever way you turn. Chisnell will start this one, the overwhelming favourites. But I just think that there might be something about to happen. Game on. Petrescu will not be overawed by this occasion. He's done it all before. Title number one, secured last October. He's seen off the world number one. Can he see off the number two oh, seed? Rob Malarkey in the chair for the final here in Antwerp. Alongside me for it is Paul Nicholson. Thanks, Rob. What a pleasure it is to watch this final. And I'm with you. I think Ricardo can hold his head up high coming into this final match of the weekend because in a lot of the metrics that we measure people by when they come into the final match, he's living with Chisnell, if not exceeding him. It's only the maximums, 17 to 40, in that Chisnell holds the upper hand. More ton plus checkouts for Ricardo. He's got five to Dave's one. He's better on the doubles as a percentage. And overall, it's just the kind of stuff that wins you tournaments. Well, it's good enough to get him into the final, at least, yeah. here in Belgium. It's funny as well. I mean, here we have a player who's won a European Tour title before, but strikingly See, and curiously wasn't really part of the conversation in terms of analysing who might win this one this weekend. He's had a really strong start here as well. Seven Getting out of the blocks this week has not been a problem. And think about what's on the line for Ricardo in this final. If he wins, he'd become only the second oh, German not. player Probably to have two required. PDC ranking titles. Four. The only other one hasn't even got a tour card, Max Hopp. And he could be the first to get two European tour titles. That is very significant. I was going to make that point as well. That would be a real feather in his cap. I mean, for all the talk of Gabriel Clemens yesterday with that win over MVG, and for all the talk of becoming the first German player to get into the top 16 in the order of merit. I think winning multiple European Tour titles, if Petrezko can seize that now, I mean, that is something that will stay with him forever. And you know something, after Risa this year, when Martin Schindler won, what? there's a lot of people on social media somewhat unnecessarily saying, Germans only win in Germany. I know there wasn't a crowd when Max Hopp won a Dublin Players' Championship six years back. But the fact remains, if Ricardo wins in Belgium, that cracks that in half. This has been a very neutral crowd Whoa. ever since Mike Dedeca was eliminated. And Ricardo's been one of the best players in the tournament. That's why he's in this final match. But he is up against a super heavyweight in European Tour darts. And if Dave wins, he will equalise Gezi Price at number three on the all-time list of European Tour winners. Yes, indeed. And the other incentive, which I'll touch upon in a moment, let's just see if Chizzy can uh, find this 1-4-8 to uh, level things up. Satisfied the uh, first part of the equation, but couldn't satisfy the second. Ricardo's got one of these in the previous match. Not going to double dip. 46. In a sense, Maybe that's what this is all 48. about. Ricardo wants to have two in his career. Dave wants to have two in the season. Tops for Chitty. Yeah, 14 data for Chitty to cancel out the 14 data for Petrescu. And on we go at one apiece. Yeah, just looking at the European order of merit as well. A win for Chitty in this Six. final will take him from fifth into top spot on the European ranking list. He's got £54,500 uh, prior to this weekend, so 30 grand will take him clear. And for Pietrescu, well, 22nd on the European money list prior to this weekend with 20500 A win would catapult him into the top ten and maybe uh, that's the top of the top eight. Well, and when it comes to seeding for the European Championship, that might well prove beneficial. I think there's something else that is even more valuable. It's protecting his seeding because in the next few weeks, what he won in Hildesheim last year is going to come off. This would cover that loss before it comes off. Yeah. And it would maintain 
what he needs to do for the next 12 months. It would give him so much freedom. 59. Yeah, it's another free roll, isn't it? As you say, that's a really good point as well. And that can really prove so advantageous. It just gives you one less thing to worry about. Oh, ain't he, sir? Johnny Clayton did that at last year's match play. He won £100,000. And then when he went to the Grand Prix a couple of months after that, it didn't really matter anymore because he'd covered what he'd won two years prior. This is how dark players think sometimes. Wonderful. I can get that before it comes off. I'm not going to be worse off in any sort of way. Yeah, and then, of course, after winning in Hildesheim last week, uh, last year, he went to the European Championship and beat the reigning champion, Ross Smith, in the first round as well. So, it'll be another opportunity to pick up more prize money. This 102 may well have to go, 45 away. Double 16. 86. Nudging the wire, Avery and wire, Dave Chisnell looking at 88, the first break of throw. This is a number that has been found to win a title on the European Tour. In fact, it won Joe Cullen's very first one in Mannheim. And, and he did it just like that. Dave leg is Dave this is a first. brilliant start. All 14 darters. Game. Strap yourselves in, everybody. This one could get very, very good and very tense. Dave has won three European Tour titles in Germany. As for the other four, in four other countries. Wonderful. He wins tonight, it will be the Belgian double of active European Tour events. The other countries he's won one in, Netherlands, Wonderful. Hungary and Denmark. Yep, he's uh, versatile enough is uh, Dave Chisnell. Chris crossing the continent and picking up titles wherever he goes on the European tour stage. He's having a really good couple of years, is Dave. Winning on the floor and the stage constantly after a period of time where he was wondering where his game was going. And the thing that leads me to this very point is he's played Ricardo in qualifiers for European Tour events in the last two years. So this streak of brilliance since winning in Belgium two years ago, Dave is now a different player to when he was playing Ricardo on the floor to get to these things. Yeah, and uh, well, potentially a nice early birthday present for Chizzy as well, because he's 44 next week. Four tops for Chizzy. Coming up. Almost like he meant to leave him on tops there, Rob. <laughs> He meant to say 54 tops. Well, in control of this leg, he's uh, already got the break. He's looking to consolidate it. Bit of pressure there from Petretsko, but Chizzy, three clear darts at tops, and tops in the main has served him so well this weekend. Bang on cue, he misses and has to go to double ten and back upstairs for double five. And so fourth leg, Dave. Good leg is Ricardo in yeah. the first game. Big visit that didn't want to give. Petretsko too much encouragement with a string of missed darts at a double, but gets the job done in the visit. And Whoa. so far, so good for Chizzy when it comes to the finishing. 15 darter. To give a great deal away at this stage. A first to eight final. Whoa. Got to conserve energy. He knows it more than most. They take you back to 2019. He was in the final in Gibraltar. Lost to Ratajski. And admittedly, Ratajski in the semi-finals and final, he was insatiable. He was so good, he was not going to be denied that night the poll. But fast forward three years, in fact, almost three years to the day since that. And it is Dave Chisnell since the 25th of September 2022. He's been in six Euro Tour finals, he's won five of them. The only one he's lost was to Peter Wright in Prague last year, and that was an excellent effort to take Snakebite out. He's really got the knack of winning these finals in the last couple of years. 46. Got a record of 61.
Well, Petrescu started this match well with that uh, 14 data. He's uh, fallen by the wayside ever so slightly since then, but this is... Well, more than anything, an opportunity just to build some momentum once again. You know what, Rob? When Ricardo missed his first dart, a double in this final, we should have said, well, that's the first dart he's missed in a Euro Tour final. He requires 66. Yeah, of course, he had that perfect record, didn't he, in that uh, final in Hildesheim on the finishing. Double 18. And even though he did miss another dart at a double there, he made full use of his second dart. Yeah, prior to that weekend in Hildesheim, he'd only won one European Tour match as well. That was the that was the really astonishing thing. That was a 6-1 defeat of Luke Woodhouse in the European Darts Grand Prix in 2020. Made his European debut in Risa in 2018. Lost to Ryan Searle on that occasion. I do believe that one was fresh off Ryan Searle starting to mortar. He just won a big event in South Wales and so lost in a final to Nathan Aspinall on the floor as well, where his career started to kick in. But now it's Ricardo who's starting to make his presence felt. And I'm going to go back to what I said to Dan Dawson Whoa. in the semi-finals. Ricardo winning this tournament is a bigger shock than him winning last year, considering yeah. the year that he's had. I mean, you look at his 55. form on the floor, players' championship events this year. OK, he made the fourth round of the first event at the very start of the season. But since then, he hasn't gone any further than that. And he's had well, nine first-round defeats as well, including seven in his last eight tournaments. This has been a real bolt from the blue, I think. Good from Cheers. Oh, oh no. better. Just when it looks as though he was losing his way a little bit, Dave Chisnell gives us all a little sharp reminder. And Petrescu needs to find a little response of his own again. Oh, That's an interesting play from Ricardo. I could have sworn he would have used the bullseye with the last dart. Yeah, because if he had done, it would have got him sub ton Assuming he'd have a 25. Oh, 98. He does like this range of finishes, and he does prefer to start downstairs on them. Because he's looking to leave double 16. This time he doesn't. But as you say, I mean, he could have made life a little bit more manageable there. I'm not quite sure what the thinking was. Yeah, I think the board management there is... It's up for debate, let's put it that way. That's not. That's a 16 data for Chisnell. Four to a halfway point yeah. for him. I think Dave likes Belgium. We know that Ricardo does. Does anybody like Belgium more than Dave? <laughs> After beating Goldfinger in that final two years ago, the Belgium darts open. Weirdly, it's actually oh, Goldfinger that Ricardo beat in the first round here that he played. We're only missing one thing from this tournament, apart from a winner. That's a nine data. Not for the want of trying, though, Paul. Especially the likes of uh, Gabriel Clemens yesterday, but... 55. Still time. Ricardo has the better average in this game by seven points. He's two legs adrift. 57. Yeah, it's hard to read too much into the averages for Chizzy as well, because you look at that, oh, that match against Chris Doby where he, he did miss a lot of darts at double, actually, but he still came away with an average of 101. You have something in common, these two. They've both won the German Darts Championship. It is seen as one of the more prestigious European Tour events because it's been around the longest. There have been more runnings of that than any tournament in European Tour history, 12 of them. Oh, look at that. A speciality from Chef Chisnell. 255 to 75 with Petrescu on 125, and he now is looking at 75. Oh, surely. 
I thought he could sandwich that last one in. I was expecting him to hit that. But if Dave hits this, it's not just a lovely 5-2 lead, it's a double break. Missed dance at the bullseye for a 4-3 deficit, could be a 5-2 deficit instead. Dave Chisnell, big moment, another break of throw. 35. Balls by the wayside. 36. Just the one break so far, that came in leg three. Chisnell won't be overly concerned, seven, although uh, it was a chance to go 5-2 up. And Petrescu, yeah, looks encouraged by that, doesn't he? 4-3, could have been 2-5. You could say that Ricardo was more prepared for this final than he was 12 months ago in Hildesheim. But some people tend to thrive under pressure in games like this. You're not seeing a great deal of darts needed to take their shots out. Well, talking of pressure, I mean, he wasn't under any pressure there because Chizzy started off with 27. Chizzy's first three darts have been, or have become, a little bit of an issue for him. He's backed it up with a mere 45 after Piotrescu opened with 41. Neither player really capitalising so far on the other slip-ups. Is this the sketchy bit of the final? Which Where you always get. And you're human beings playing this final. And you think to yourself, I'm not that far away from lifting a trophy, but you've got to stay in that focused bubble. Just play the game. Wonderful. All of the exterior stuff, forget about it. It's a byproduct of success. And I'll tell you what else is as well. Ricardo becoming a top 32 player this weekend. He could go up to number 30 if he wins. Yeah, start of the weekend, 33rd on the order of merit. 26 places below his opponent in the final. That comes with a provisional I'm gonna say that quite pronounced because you'd have to protect it before the end of the season before we go into the worlds but it would get him a seeding at Ali Pali which means he would bypass round one which in turn leads to more prize money guaranteed doors always start to open success breeds opportunity now whatever you do Dave just stay away from that treble 20 That'll do. That'll do very nicely. There's a bit of swagger in that walk back there from Dave. Yeah, I said it before, didn't we, about it doesn't seem to bother him, even though he stops and checks what he scored, what he requires, has a little thing, picks off the treble 15, doesn't lose any sort of flow or any sort of rhythm. And that was one heck of a visit. However, a lot to be said about that attempt at double 12. Double six instead, double three. 18. And all of a sudden, with Chizzy having, not so long ago, looked very good here. 82. For a 5-3 lead. There's a saying in this sport that you're only as good as your last game. But sometimes you're only as good as your last visit. Double eight. Wow, uh, we have a final. Uh, Ricardo's won the last two legs. And maybe he shouldn't have. Ricardo to throw first. Game. And now that it's 4 all, Ricardo's got the throwback. We were so close to Dave having a double break. And now he's the one behind the eight ball. Well, that is two big opportunities where Dave Chisnell has failed to take advantage and really failed to take this final by the scruff of the neck. Missed darts at double 12 and double six. And I mean, Piotrescu still had a lot to do there with that 82, but the bullseye set the tone nicely and very sure-footed indeed to level things up at four apiece. Gets the break. One break apiece in this final. Ricardo has shown very good composure through this tournament. He maintains it, he's got an excellent chance. If he can pick up on every blip that Chisnell has, because there will be a few. He picks up on them, may get enough chances to win this tournament. But if the experience of Dave shines through, the history tells us that when he gets to the finishing line, he gets over the line 
with assurance quickly. Problem is, though, for Chisnell, even if the scoring stays at his ears, and I think there's a lot of room for improvement there anyway, still one or two doubts about the finishing at the moment. Can't find the treble 20 anyway. And Pietrezco on course here for the best leg of the match so far. 13 data incoming. And this would be three legs on the spin as well. Trailed 4-2. But how quickly he's turned things around. Three on the bounce for Pietrezco. And he's now just three legs away from a second European Tour title before his 30th birthday. He's averaging 94 for the last three legs. But this game proves that sometimes you don't need maximums to beat Dave Chisnell or to get in front at this stage because Ricardo hasn't hit any. It's all about shots and percentages like you're seeing there. It's good enough to take the lead, but we're still on throw. It's not panic stations at all for Chisnell. But this is very encouraging for Ricardo. It is because he's kicked off with a, a 140, and if he puts in something similar here, he's gone high with that second dart anyway. Six. Yeah, Chisnell will welcome that as well. That first dart's got to start cooperating for Dave. One. It's got to be right there. Ton is good, but he wants more. It's actually being done in the 140 column in this match. Yeah, you always feel, actually, that Pietrezco isn't ever too far away from his next 140. In that range, he's been very, very good this weekend. It's not all about flashing in the 180s. It's good, consistent scoring. Yeah, there's been a fair amount of that this weekend. Yeah, that's fair, Rob, because we grade it by 130-plus scores. Things like 134s, 137s, 140s. And Ricardo has played the same amount of games as Dave Chisnell, Same. and he's outgunning Chizzy in the two travel department. Certainly was a feature against Humphreys in that semi final. Tops here for Chizzy. And the door is open once again for Pierre Tresco. And this is for a second break of throw for the number 12 seed. He's looking at Shanghai, lovely side-on angle, illustrating what a good first start that was. Can he find the double 20? No, he can't. And he knows it was close as well. Bet that looked good in the air. Dave dodges a bullet. And he equalise. Sweat absolutely yeah. dripping down the face of Dave Chisnell. And I think there would have been an absolute cascade if that double five hadn't been found, but he digs himself out of a bit of a hole there, in all honesty. And gets himself level once again. Could so easily have gone another break down there. Dave Chisnell's not the only one sweating. His family, friends and followers are sweating as well, because Dave is making this almost too exciting. Double five has got him out of jail more than once this evening. Well, best of five from here, and given the number of Six. deciding legs that we've had on this stage this weekend, it would not be any surprise if we were to have another one in the final. It's been one of the worst games of the tournament Eight for maximums. Three. But like I said earlier, they are like the exterior influences for a dark player. They're a byproduct. Now, it's not necessarily about Max's, it's more about those. Yeah, they are the, the, the bread and butter of Pietrezzo's campaign, and again, good timing with that one as well, because Chizzy might have been half thinking about making a move, but 40. in so doing, it's actually dragged him back down again. He's only scored 40, and Pietrezzo can kick on from here. Only a hold of throw, but my goodness me, it would be a priceless one. Any leg picks up. Break or hold at this stage. Absolutely invaluable. Here's that first start. Look what happens when he finds it. Look what happens! 
Well, he could wrap those inside a polo mint. That was terrific grouping by Dave Chisnell, all about the first start. However, will it be all in vain? He was hopeful. Yeah. Sorry, Ricardo, it's not in the treble. Even and if you ask the question. Can Dave be a little bit more clinical at the top of the board? If so, 6-5 and a break beckons. That break might be coming, Rob. Close. Gets the 18, double checks with Kurt Bevins. Takes a moment just to uh, wipe his face and start all over again. That was that was close, but it is inside. Double 20. Double 10 for a break of throw. 38. Not to be. That double 10 was not a good shot. It was low. It didn't fly right. Ricardo leaves a very obscure 37. But hits it and protects his own throw. Two more for him. For a slice of German darts history. Well, again, it's all about the finishing for Dave Chisnell. It lets him down once again. Miss starts at double 20, normally so reliable, and double 10. That was the chance for the break. But the chance went begging, and Piotrzewski stepped in. But again, no damage done. But like I say, any leg picked up at this stage of the match will count for so, so much. One. And that final dart on double 16, the way he just looped it over the dart that was already in position. That was really nicely done. You know that conversation we were having Whoa. earlier about Gabe Clemens being the highest ranked German in the history of the PDC at 19th? Yes. And, and then Max Hopp and Martin Schindler getting to 23. Hey, How yeah. ironic would it be that the most successful German player in wins and magnitude of wins would be the lowest Mind ranked you. of the three in the top 32. Yeah, it's, the, it's that old saying, isn't it? People don't remember necessarily world number ones, but they do remember Grand Slam champions. Or major winners. I thought that's where you were going to start talking about the best ever Chilean tennis player. <laughs> Well, you look at someone like Luke Donald, for example, as well. Great example. What, what would he what would he give? Would he swap that world number one status for a, a major? I think he probably would. Lee Westwood as well. Yeah. Perfect example. Oh, there's another 140 from Ricardo. That's knocking on the door of Chisnell. If you don't hit this, Dave, I'm going to get you. Double 18. And that is what it means for Dave Chisnell. Look at the reaction. From a man chasing his eighth European Tour title, it clearly means a lot to him. Six apiece. And we're now into best of three territory. 14 darts of a Chizzy as well. And again, there was a lot of purchase and a lot of movement behind that first dart as well. He then just slowed it up a little bit for the next two and it paid off for him. We've seen some epic shots in this tournament. The 161 from Joyce against Suter. The 149 for Humphreys this oh. afternoon against Joyce. But let's focus on the final. I don't think we've seen the most important shot yet. First start, potentially oh, making the difference. 25. So much so that Chizzy, yeah, left to reflect on that single five because it was begging to be hit, wasn't it? Is Ricardo losing his range? Well, if he is, it is at the worst possible time as well. Chizzy, 13 points to the deficit, but he can make an impression here. Again, bit of extra purchase behind that second dart, but slows it back down for the third and comes away with a 140 and comes away with real hopes now of a third break of throw in this match, a second for Chizzy that would leave him very much in the driver's seat. No, One thing's for sure, Rob. Ricardo is in uncharted territory. Now, tops. 
Nobody hits tops better in the world when they move left on the hockey than the man in yellow. Uncharted territory, all right, for Ricardo. Because when he was in that final in Hildesheim a year ago, he won it 8 4. Now he's going to have to win the last two legs to get that second title. Well, where has this come from, really? Dave Chisnell was really labouring not so long ago, but he's just pulled off a 12 data. The best leg of the match so far. Not quite saving the best till last because we do have maybe one, maybe two more Ooh, legs to go. It? But that is certainly a very, very big move by Chizzy. But he's only started off with 46 here. And if Piotrzko can get into his stride quickly, we may well be Ooh. going all the way. But Dave Chisnell, a 1-1-5 checkout. And double 20 just had be, been started to desert him, hadn't it? We've only had one final 66. in the 2024 European Tour that has gone the distance. And that was the first one of the year in Belgium between Littler and Cross. 91. What is it about this country at the minute that gives a starting drama almost guaranteed? First start found wanting again, but makes a good one recovery one once again with second and third. 140 for Chizzy, Petrescu fighting to hang on to the coattails of the number two seed. Won't be giving up on this just yet, Six. but that is helpful for Chizzy once again. This was tennis, Rob. It'd be advantage Chisnell. I would have it at 40-30, actually. I think he's got more than that. 100. I'll side with you now. It's definitely 40 30 Chisnell. Ricardo needs an ace. I think Chizzy's got some fans out there. Wow. This is for the title. We've already referenced the 149 of Humphreys to finish the afternoon session. We're not going to get another to finish the whole thing. What will Chizzy leave? 430. Ricardo, you require 150. Could not have been much better, in all honesty. And Ricardo Petrescu. Mission impossible. Well, it isn't mission accomplished. Ricardo, 36. And he's now relying on mistakes from Chisnell, who steps up to the plate. It has been a real battle. It has been a real ordeal for Dave Chisnell, but he is 36 points away from what would be an eighth European Tour title. Dave Chisnell only needs one dart at double 18, and indeed for an eighth time, he is a European Tour winner once again. Dave Chisnell, a second European Tour title in Belgium as well. He is the European Tour monster, and you better believe it. And he is number one on the European money ranking list as well, for good measure. And it sets himself up nicely for the rest of the year as well. Dave Chisnell takes the acclaim of the crowd. He wins a thrilling final by eight legs to six. He did not have that all his own way. Pierre Tresco can go home with his head held high after that one. Wasn't quite to be as far as his quest for a second European Tour crown is concerned. But my goodness me, he played his part. But it's Chisnell, who's the top dog once again, winning the final by eight legs to six.